Hello and welcome everybody from Vietnam. This time we'll visit one of the main sightseeing attractions of the country, Halong Bay. The bay is uh, famous about uh, its uh, limestone cars and uh, islands. We can find here more than uh, 2000 uh, islands which are growing out of the sea like uh, mushrooms. So yeah, they have different uh, shapes and different uh, formation. So it will be absolutely amazing uh, to take this uh, cruising trip along uh, these islands. The limestone uh, in this bay has gone through 500 million years of uh, formation in uh, different uh, conditions and uh, environments and uh, you can imagine it's a huge uh, bay it has an area of uh, 1500 square kilometers of course uh, there's a local legend about uh, this bay so in the ancient uh, times uh, there were many invaders uh, tried to conquer these uh, Vietnamese uh, territories and the gods sent uh, some uh, dragons, a dragon family actually, to protect uh, the Vietnamese uh, people. So uh, when uh, these uh, intruders tried uh, to uh, penetrate uh, in uh, this uh, bay, then uh, the dragons uh, were uh, spitting uh, out uh, of their mouth uh, some uh, jewelry and uh, jade. And uh, these uh, jewelry became uh, suddenly rocks and uh, islands. This is how uh, these islands uh, were forming according to the legend. And, uh, well, these uh, intruders, uh, these uh, invader uh, ships were uh, sinking uh, because of uh, these rocks uh, just uh, appeared out of the nothing. And, uh, well, this is uh, how the dragons uh, could uh, protect uh, the Vietnamese uh, territory. But, well, uh, there's another version of uh, this uh, legend that uh, they were, of course, uh, spitting fire because this is what uh, dragons uh, do. And, uh, they were destroying uh, the ships uh, by fire and uh, these uh, fires uh, became uh, islands so that's another interpretation of the story so after this uh, region became uh, peaceful the dragons uh, decided to take a sightseeing uh, trip around the world this is a fun fact uh, of the ending of the story and uh, they didn't engage in any battle after so it was a peaceful uh, sightseeing around the world and uh, after that they returned back to Halong Bay and uh, decided uh, to uh, stay here. That will be uh, their home uh, for uh, centuries. So actually Halong means in Vietnamese uh, the descending uh, dragon because uh, they returned uh, back here. So Halong Bay is uh, the bay of the descending uh, dragon. So this is the international port of uh, Halong Bay. This is uh, where we'll start our journey between the limestone cliffs and the islands. So why is this uh, port international? There are some uh, Chinese uh, ships, boats, uh, which are coming directly from uh, China. So uh, they must uh, go through immigration control and uh, passport control. So they are coming uh, directly from China to Vietnam through this uh, port. That's why it is uh, international. So if you are coming from Hanoi, you can uh, choose if you want a one day trip or uh, two or three days a trip that's also possible and uh, in that case uh, you will sleep on the ship so you will have uh, much more to pay of course but uh, well it's up to you up to the tourist uh, which one uh, you choose I chose uh, a one day trip so after the cruising I will take the bus uh, back to Hanoi to the capital of uh, Vietnam one day trip is uh, 50 dollars on TripAdvisor I paid at the local uh, tour company only $30, but uh, then I need to pay uh, extra entrance fee here at uh, this port, uh, which is uh, 290,000 uh, Vietnamese dong. <laughs> uh, that's like uh, $12 uh, totally. So yeah, it's not a big uh, uh, money saving, which I did uh, totally $42, but uh, well. If you travel a lot, also $8. Uh, well, in Vietnam it's uh, more, than a, more than a lunch, maybe two lunches or uh, two dinners. So <laughs> sometimes it's a good idea to uh, try some local uh, tour companies and uh, save a little bit money also if it's just like $8. I uh, do it uh, with pleasure. Administratively, the bay belongs to Halong City. Some uh, tourists uh, choose to travel there from Hanoi and uh, take a bus uh, actually from Hanoi to Halong City and uh, stay overnight there. There's also an option to discover Halong Bay. Oh. A 
community of around uh, 1,600 people live in uh, Halong Bay in uh, four fishing villages. Many of them live on uh, floating houses and are sustained through fishing and uh, <coughs> marine aquaculture, cultivating uh, marine biota, applying the shallow waters for uh, 200 species of fish and 450 different kinds of uh, mollusks. After we climbed uh, more than 380 steps, we got an amazing uh, view. And uh, not just that, there is a cave uh, named Amazing uh, Cave, so <laughs> we'll visit that. It's a little bit overcrowded here, but it's okay. So this cave is uh, 10,000 uh, square meters, absolutely huge. And we have only 40 minutes uh, at this uh, stop in our cruising trip. Actually, we can walk uh, one kilometer long uh, inside of the cave. Let's see what's inside. Yes, the locals call this amazing cave and it's really amazing. Wow. Wow, absolutely amazing. But guess what? Both beautiful one. I got one question for everyone here, especially for the ladies. Such a huge uh, chamber room. Looks like you are on the moon. Absolutely amazing. But before I show you my question, my story, I need to say sorry. Because it comes to what it happens. Sometimes some my story, some my question is not a good feel. My question is that what does that look like? Follow day by day, day by day. What does I run? It leaves the best look like it. Uh, I think we're going to get a little bit of a second thing. 
Historical research also shown the presence of uh, prehistoric uh, human beings in this area tens of thousands of uh, years ago and I'm not surprised, uh, you can imagine that uh, uh, those uh, prehistoric uh, creatures uh, or ancestors really loved uh, these caves I think it's a uh, huge space uh, for more tribes actually, they have enough uh, space here absolutely spectacular such a huge uh, room
cho mọi người chụp tí với cho vào ra ngay rồi không khó chủ long quang câu giờ vậy không phải là chụp giờ mà thời gian là phải cho mọi người để tí ra ngay tí họ lại bắt chèo vào đi actually Vietnam's Halong Bay is uh, kind of similar to Pang Na Bay in uh, Thailand, which I presented you in the vlog about the James Bond Island. It's worth uh, to watch that vlog also. That uh, Pang Na Bay also has uh, many limestone cliffs like this.
Our next and last stop is the T-Top Island. And here we can see the statue of uh, T-Top. I don't have any exact information about uh, him, but uh, looks like a national hero, probably related to the Vietnamese War or to the First Indochina War. Sorry about uh, this, that I don't have any information about him. Probably he was a general or a leader. On this island uh, we can choose uh, between two activities swimming or hiking here is the beach the tour guide said that he doesn't recommend uh, swimming because of uh, jellyfish but well uh, you can find uh, jellyfish everywhere so i'm not scared about it but uh, he said that uh, we don't have time for boat that's very unfortunate because I would like uh, boat activities, both swimming and hiking. So hiking uh, trail leads us uh, to the top of this uh, mountain and from there we can have an amazing view of uh, Halong Bay. So I will choose that 420 steps uh, will lead us to the peak of uh, this uh, mountain. The view is really impressive, but it's too crowded, so <laughs> it's a little bit hard uh, to make a good uh, photo. Oh, okay. Wow. 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 Wow.
So this was the vlog about Halong Bay. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if that's so, please subscribe to my channel if you didn't do it yet. It's very important to push on the bell icon because this is how you get notified about the new contents. Have a nice day and goodbye. Thank you.